Hello YouTube, this is Sasha for Step by Case. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember, in the last tutorial, we were able to download, install, and configure the visit uh, library. We're working with the visit, uh, visit 2.13 and 3. And this is where we stayed, uh, where we left off in the last tutorial. Uh, this is, uh, screens are blank. But how, what do we have to do? So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is, this is your your graphical user interface page. And uh, let, me, let me minimize this in the back. So you don't get confused. Minimize, minimize. Minimize, and there you go, and minimize, and there you have your your um, graphical user interface, and then you have your viewer, which is this one. As you can see, you have your graphical user interface with all of the normal things that you see in, in any Windows program. But now it gets interesting. You got animation, annotation, launch, uh, command line interface, commands, database correlations, and all other cool stuff. You have your options, plugin manager, where you, you can uh, choose uh, and install plugins. Different layouts, windows, one by one, two windows, four windows, so on. Plot attributes, which are you all, you're going to be using this a lot. Operator attributes. Look at all this stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. I mean, it takes a while before you um you you remember all of these. I mean, uh, I don't even remember. I, I sometimes have to just look at the at the manual and, and and remind me how to do something because there's so much stuff. It's very rich. So, how do we open uh i'm going to be showing you a vtk file because that's what i we've been working with in other tutorials so i'm going to go and say open and it's good. now it's inside my my uh system so it's, i'm gonna go up one directory up one directory one more one more found my home directory my Chesco directory, and now I look for my VTK or my visit. I have VTK in bottle. So I'll go into my visit, and I have VTK data, tutorial data. I think I have, no, I don't have anything in this one. And let's work with some of the VTK data. There, let's work with this one because there's a lot of them here. So let's go with the uh, contours and data. And here it is. So I'm just going to choose the CT volume BTI. So it's this one. And I chose it. And as you can see, it tells me that the active source is this one. And this was grayed out before, and all of a sudden, they're not grayed out anymore. So now I go into here, because nothing has happened. So sometimes you add whatever you're working with. In your case, most of the time, we're working with pseudo color. In this case, being that is, I'm using volume, I'm going to use volume, and I'm going to use scal scalars. So I'm just going to choose it. And now it's going to tell me that I chose it. And all of a sudden, these are not grayed out anymore. So now I'm going to hit draw. As soon as I hit draw, there it is. And this is the volume of that file that I got. As you can see, it's a contour. 
all of these things were grayed out before. Now they're all become live. This one, you you, is, this is to, if you want to spin it, you can spin it and make it more into a a rotation that it shows you uh, what's you know everywhere. You can stop it, spin it the other way, stop it. And if you really want to stop it uh, permanently, you just go back here and just stop it. You can invert the background here. This is nice. I, I, I like the black. It looks nice. Especially sometimes if you want to you don't see something very clearly. Here it's got your X, your Y, and your Z. This is your Z axis. Your Y and your X axis. If you want a better resolution, you can always turn it to make sure you get it. These are the windows that I mentioned. You can break it into different windows. You can toggle your perspective. This is your undo's. If you did something stupid, you can always undo it. Uh, clear all plots. Sometimes you don't want the plots. Why would you do that? I don't know. But now let's draw again. <laughs> there it goes. And uh, active, how to active, make at Windows active. If you want to zoom, this is the zoom. And this is not a very good one for this type of zoom, but uh, all the ones work even better. So you can have your area zoom. And it will just zoom in, in the area that you chose, right? Your region of interest. Or if you're done with the zoom and you don't want to zoom anymore, you can go back to your navigation and then uh, you're back to the other mode, the mode that you started. And uh, basically, this is uh, how you operate the viewer. Now, for the graphical user interface, you have a lot more stuff here. You got all type of uh, how to add um, different types of plots. You have your histograms here. So for example, you could do a scale, a scalar, they hit draw. It's gonna give me an error because uh, okay, they don't match. So I cannot use that one for this particular one. Um, what else I can use? I can use the color. I can use for the scalar. And then draw, and there you go. And um, let me open it here. And you can make it bigger. And there you go. If you want to go back to where you were before, you just get rid of it, that one, and just go delete. And then you get your original one. I mean, uh, there's so many things that you can do. Uh, you can do scale, a scatter plot, like using scalars. And then let's say that you use default, finish, and then uh, let's draw it. And it, same thing again. I'm working in different dimensions, so I cannot use that one. I'll show you with, with, with a different, when I choose something else. Uh, spreadsheet, I think I can show you spreadsheet. Yeah, this one I can. This is pretty cool. Especially, this is the bottom here. And, where can I get a position that you get? Okay, that, that's better. So, this spreadsheet right here, you can, it's got your K values, and you, you, it's got your, uh, you can actually, let me show you, bring down this and go down by just moving this. As you can see, it's, it's 
your k values are changing you can go all the way it's like a plane inside the the box of the value and most importantly you can do it for the x you can do it for the y you can use do it for the z uh, you can also see uh, where is the your minimum values maximum values and it will automatically go there this this cool this can be handy but that's using the spreadsheet and you can play with it and uh, I mean there's a uh, that's one of them if you want to turn off the the spreadsheet all you need to do is delete make sure you deleting the spreadsheet and not your volume and then it goes away and then you can add all the ones for example let's uh, what should we do let's do let's use the volume but let's let's delete that one and now let's add a pseudo color scalar then draw and there it is and that's it now in pseudo color and um, and like in, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to how to also do scripts and how you can actually write scripts and manipulate um, the all of these just through the use of a script. So you don't have to do it every time, especially when you want to make your own routines. So the, there's more automated. You can also do that, but we can do that in the next tutorial. Uh, this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Take care.